Hello everybody, Windstorm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron for the Africa campaign featuring the modern day 4 mod. In the last episode, we continued defending ourselves, repelling naval invasions. I think we had to drive one landing off, if I remember correctly. So far, so good. We're building new planes. We've researched our multi-role fighters. We created a variant of our air superiority fighters to increase their range in preparation for the offensive that I have planned, which is going to be an air assault hopping across the North Atlantic island chains here. Uh, Cape Verde, uh, Canary, Canary Islands, uh, Madeira, and the Azores here in an effort to get within striking distance of mainland Europe, in particular the Iberian Peninsula, which we are at war with, to start actually inflicting some damage to our enemies. So that is the plan at the moment. We'll see how it goes. The issue has been getting the small arms we need to train up our paratroopers. Because we have our paratroopers here, we designed a division of light airborne, which uses transport helicopters. So, um, we're trying to get those trained. It's just a little slow going because we're just out of guns and we're not making them very quickly. So, I have a plan here. Actually, let me just unpause it. Let me just get these Americans to stop attacking. Now, someone in the comments did have an idea that we could potentially allow some of these oh, there we go, enemy divisions to land successfully and then counterattack them and destroy them, which would inflict much more damage than simply driving them off the beach as they're attempting to uh, to assault. Um that could be an interesting idea. Um, it's risky, because you're allowing, basically allowing the enemy a beachhead, and that could be a problem. Um, I would, would want to do it in an area where I had prepared counteroffensive, right? Where you had some guys, like over here, where we have our marines that are ready to counterattack, or over here where our armor is. Um, so... You know, we would have to basically prepare somewhere where we would want to do it and then hope that the enemy attacks in that spot. So it might be something that we kind of plan as we go. We'll see how it goes. But what we're going to do right now is because we now have those coastal forts here, we probably don't need as many divisions holding these islands. So we're going to leave three divisions. I'm hoping it's going to be enough. We'll see. And we're going to airlift these guys off. Because right now, airlifting is the really the only way that that's going to work. Alright, get rid of the plan. Do we have any transports over here? No, we don't. Let's take these transports. Fly them over there. <sighs> we no longer have the effects from recent government spe civilian spending. Right, we, um... Was it we drill for oil? I think we drilled for oil. We can mine for steel. Not a bad idea either. But I think we're going to do this next one. Once we get to 350 political power, we're going to develop military factories because this will build uh, five military factories just straight up for 350 political power. I will take it. Alright, looks like our guys are here. So I'm going to get again leave behind three. The rest of you guys can get over here.
All right, there we go. Delete the the orders. And what we're going to do is we're going to move these guys into the army that is preparing. for our invasion here. All right, we do have transport planes. Saudi Arabia and Turkey have fighters in this airbase. Interesting. So you guys can prepare. How come we can't prepare from here? Oh, wrong button. There we go. All right. Sorry, had to mute Discord. There we go. All right, so now we are ready. Well, we're not quite ready yet. These guys are still driving. So I believe when I looked at this, it's gonna take 10 days to do justification, which is fine. Now someone was saying that, let's see, Western Outlook. We're still receiving US aid. We see the daily change of nationalist is plus 0.2. Daily change of Western is minus 0.1. It goes to plus 0.4 for a second. But then it gets big enough that it then stops. So it shouldn't ever really be a problem. Problem is we have two pro-Western neighbors and we still have that U.S. aid. I don't know how to get rid of this. Because I really would like to get rid of that. Yeah, it's basically stabilized at this point. So yeah, now it's a minus 0.3. Then it shrinks, and that causes the, the modifier to change. Then it expands again, and then it gets big enough that the modifier switch. Then it shrinks, and yeah, so yeah, it's fine. No big deal. All right, let's go ahead and justify war. Do it. Right, we have 200 fighters stationed here, ready to go. I wish we had the longer range fighters. But we have what we have. Do I have the ability to make any more squadrons? I have 11 Icarus. I have 90 F4 Phantoms. We actually have a... First Gen Daedalus in storage. So I guess I can start putting together... Another squadron. Oh, actually, no, no. Stay out of there right now. I don't want to attract the attention of any unfriendly um, uh, air squadrons. All right, let's see if these guys hold up with their reduced numbers. It's looking like they're fine.
Yep, our defense numbers are good. Modifiers. Okay, justification is done. Declare war. Send. All these planes. Move here. Our helicopters won't have the range. And you initiate. Yep, was pretty much expecting that. Alright, we took the islands. And one of the first things we're going to want to do here is A. Repair the damage. It's just infrastructure, but that's, that's alright. Let's get the air base expanded. Let's get the naval base expanded. Let's get the coastal forts built. Let's get some anti-aircraft weapons installed. Airfield, anti-aircraft. Can I put up a radar, some radar stations? That's something we really haven't done. Yep, some radar stations. So we're going to kind of slow down on the factory construction for a moment while we basically fortify those islands. All right, we took a whole bunch of AK-74s and a bunch of other equipment. All right, and you guys no longer need that order. Move the transport planes and move the Black Panthers over to the airfield. And there's suddenly tons of enemy planes. Not entirely unexpected. Whose planes we got? Crux Federation aircraft. Okay. Makes sense. Well, as we expand that airfield, we'll be able to move more planes into that airfield, which will give us better coverage of that air zone. Alright, do we know how many planes have been lost yet? We've lost three fighters, we've shot down two in the last few days. Let's see, what do they have? Yeah, just a whole bunch of random light aircraft. I don't know why. They're, well, it's just because they just so badly outnumber us right now. There are now 675 aircraft in this 
Okay, that was a bit odd. What I should probably do is start building a multi-role fighter squadron. Let's see, just how many multi-role aircraft do we have? It'd be nice if we would get some allied support over here. How are they getting any air superiority with no planes? Really? Okay. Do we want to make this our experiment? There's no naval base here, so I'm going to go ahead and retreat. Alright. Better attack helicopters, or do we want to work on planes? I think we're going to work on planes. Super cruise. Wait, did they break off the invasion already? We were retreating. Okay then. Oh, there we go. All right. Go ahead and retreat. All right, with small arms, 2035. Let's get them, let's get them building. Should be all right there. Wow, we're retreating and we're still fighting them off. Okay. Well, if they're gonna want to assault there, then I'm just gonna leave it open. Say, okay, we can land there if you like. Yeah, I figured they were gonna plan naval invasions over here. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this squadron. I'm going to fly it over here. And put them over here. What are they doing? Stop overloading my air bases. Numbers are still green. All right, let's go ahead and develop military factories so that should have given us a pile of military factories. Yes, it did. We are now making 5.45 per week. Is there any way I can bring up my production efficiency? There's no research to do it. There we are. One American Marine Division has landed.
You guys gonna send any more than that? Alright then, let's just wipe them out. Alright, drone 2015s. Take it and then back back off again. Uh, drone 2025. We're gonna keep working on this stuff. Yeah, if they want to land there, that's fine. I'll let them land there all day. Missing self-propelled AA equipment production. Am I researching that at all? Yeah, 61 days. This wouldn't be a bad spot to do this as well, to back off a little bit and allow them to land. But it would give them a naval base. They can retreat from naval bases. So we wanted them to land places where they can't retreat so we can just wipe them out. Why are you heading over there? No. Go back where you were. See anything in here say like production efficiency? No, it doesn't really. Local security. Neo imperialism. I don't know what this does. Was your playground is strong? Take what they want. Our national security can't be compromised. Okay. I think it affects something. Ah, three British divisions, infantry divisions, just landed. Let's hit them. Get these guys supporting. I don't know what that is. Ah, they are also attempting to land there. Actually, what I should do, I'm gonna take these 10 Marine Divisions that are really not doing anything sitting there. 
I'm gonna redeploy them over here. You stay there. You guys all stay there. You retake it and head back. Problem is that is like costing me military factories every time they do that. What am I looking for? I'm looking for construction. Okay, we don't have anything damaged. Alright, we should now have a radar station up here. We do. Not very big. We have 92% air detection. We have 15% mission efficiency. It's probably what's hurting us a bit. We need those better planes. make you an army. Let's give you a general, which we don't really have one, so we'll have to make a new one. Let's give you a color. We'll just we'll make you black, and we'll make you uh, that symbol. And actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to assign you to this field marshal. I'm going to assign these guys to this field marshal. I'm going to assign these guys to this field marshal. So this guy is going to be all of our airborne. Well, if we're going to be all the airborne, then these guys need to come over there too. Naval invasions, naval invasions, naval invasions, air superiority, yeah. Yeah, I know. Now, why do we have no military factories here? Hold on, hold on. Sometimes the game gets a little bit goofy here. Naval dockyards? Oh! Well, that's a problem. Like, why do we suddenly not have any military factories? Well, because they just landed on our capital. How did that happen? Oh, because our capital does not have... Accra does not have a naval base, so there's nobody defending it. You sneaky little buggers. All right. All right, we need to contain this, and fast. Actually, no. Um, one of you stay there, the other two move. All 
Alright, once we've driven them off, we're gonna counter punch. Until our armor can get there. Oh, there's an airfield there. That's bad. That just made a 61% to capitulation. Yeah. Yeah, we need to we need to deal with that. All right, we've got thrust vectoring engines. Get 5th gen air superiority. 691 days. Good lord. All right. Wait a minute, why are you guys retreating? Don't retreat! Attack! Is responding. All right, we got our guys back. Oh, they're counterattacking. That's that's why. Are you guys on aggressive? Looks like they are on aggressive. Actually, switch to balanced. So they won't needlessly bash their heads against that if, if it's not going to work, hopefully. Ah, more armor, just in time. Get to the front. Alright, we're starting to turn this around. General James Rainey. Look at all the stuff that our guy has. Our troops are much more battle hardened. With all the fighting we've been doing. Perhaps we should station somebody on the capital. I think, I think that would be a good idea. Right, more paratroopers. I can't really drop them yet because... We're not quite there. We have 533 active fighters. We have Saudi Arabian, Turkish, and Indian planes up. Okay, so at least they are helping. Alright, we're going to retake the cap, and then we'll probably call this an episode here. Alright, that was... That was a little closer than I'd like. Alright. I don't think I want to put the entire armored division... There. The rest of you guys just kind of stop here for, for just a minute. Alright, there we go. Ooh. Oh, more guys, more guys, more uh, mechanized infantry. Perfect. Ah, and even more paratroopers. All right, fourth gen multi-role carrier aircraft. We should start building them at some point. Working on all of this. Um, let's work on the maritime patrol aircraft. 
Speaking of maritime patrol aircraft, we are making those, right? Okay, so we need to redistribute four... Four factories. All right, let's actually back these off. Three more? That's why we have more guys that have landed. All right. So we'll go ahead and repel those guys. And then we will go ahead and call this an episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.